The Russian military is currently testing final prototypes of its next-generation surface-to-air missile system, commonly known as S-500. The defense system is capable of intercepting and destroying intercontinental ballistic missiles, spacecraft, hypersonic cruise missiles, and aircrafts at speeds of higher than Mach 5. S-500 will be able to engage even stealth targets at higher altitudes near the space zone. In this video, we'll be analyzing the capabilities of S-500 against the strengths of the F-35 and F-22, and we'll try to determine whether the F-35 and F-22 will be able to evade S-500 or the defense system will eliminate the stealth jets. The typical S-500 battery is equipped with kinetic kill missiles, launch vehicle truck, command posts, acquisition radar, multi-mode engagement radar, and battle management system. The response time of S-500 is only 3 to 4 seconds as compared to 10 seconds of S-400. The kinetic kill missiles are capable of destroying targets with their blast fragmentation warheads. The S-500 can detect and engage its target with range of 310 miles and as high as 120 miles. The S-500 missile can travel at Mach 9 capable of destroying a hypersonic cruise missile and spacecraft traveling at speeds of higher than Mach 5. With accuracy of 95%, the defense system can detect and simultaneously engage up to 10 ballistic hypersonic targets. It is effective against ballistic missiles with a launch range of 2,175 miles. This makes the system capable of destroying ballistic missiles before their warheads re-enter the atmosphere. As far as stealth jets are concerned, the U.S. Air Force has only 195 operational F-22s, while F-35 is expected to be mass-produced yet. Both fighter jets are equipped with cutting-edge technology to jam any existing air defense system in the world. However, with the advent of S-500, the scenario will change dramatically as the system is specifically designed to overcome countermeasures and stealth technology. The S-500 is equipped with larger and more powerful radars, which are highly resistant to jamming. It is believed that F-35 is capable of emitting frequencies which can confuse and disable SAMs. However, the U.S. Navy's acquisition of Growler jamming aircraft suggests the F-35's jamming capability is not really all that it's hyped. The one-on-one -on -one scenario where F-35 goes against S-500 is unrealistic, as an actual showdown would include a number of F-35 squadrons accompanied by Growlers and F-22s. On the other hand, S-500 would be supported by S-400, interceptor aircraft combined with multiple surface-to-air missile systems. Such a mission would be catastrophic in terms of human life, aircraft, and equipment. There's another way the S-500 could degrade the F-35's availability. Unlike fourth-generation aircraft, stealth jets have composite bodies with special radar-absorbing coating. For each hour of flight, F-35 requires several hours of coating maintenance. In a real war scenario, the wear and tear will be of a higher degree if F-35 detects S-500 early and tries to evade S-500 radar lock with swift maneuvers. Therefore, the war planners would prefer to attack S-500 and S-400 sites with massive numbers of Tomahawk cruise missiles fired from submarines before F-35 and F-22 strikes. In that way, the U.S. can at least avoid losing valuable pilots' lives as the cruise missiles can avoid SAMs by terrain masking. However, a successful raid by cruise missiles is topic for another video. So do you think that the United States stealth warplanes will be able to evade Russia's S-500? Let us know in the comment section. Also, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.